I'm running. It's five minutes till midnight and I'm pounding the streets in shoes that will soon turn back into the £7.99 plimp soles I left in. With it, my little black dress will turn back into sweatpants and hoodie and my beautifully sculpted bun will be a matted mess buried under a beanie. I love Salisbury at night. I pass the deserted pavements of the old George Mall, out onto the road until I'm racing past by the spoons when... Please, just a bit longer. I'm not... Ellie, you need to sit up for me, love. I groan. Your sats. Took those years ago, mate. Boston, kinda. I mean, your oxygen. I was cracking a joke. Ow. Oh, it's two in the morning. If you're expecting Victoria Woods quality wit, you can... You're a Victoria Wood fan? I used to watch her with my mum. I love her stuff. Reminds me of home. That's better. I'm going to go get some toast. I get up and wander down the corridor. Haley's playing on the Wii. She wobbles. Giddy. I just did a crap so big it could sink a cruise ship. Welcome to the Teenage Cancer Ward. It's a civilised place. I've stayed here 14 times in five years. I was 14 when I was diagnosed. This has been my longest stay. It's coming up for four and a half months now, but next weekend, next weekend, I'm going home. A few days later, it's snowing. Haley's gazing out the window in my room. I wish I could. She had a lump removed from her ankle yesterday. She'd be like Bambi after a few tequilas if she tried to brave the ice. I grab a bucket and shove on my slippers. I'll be back. Two trips in the lift later and I filled it with snow. Haley Parry, I suggest you arm yourself. Warrior combat will commence in approximately ten seconds. I pelt her with snow. I grab as much snow as I can carry, launch it across the room at speed and I'm in Lizzie Gardens throwing a ball around with mum. The ball flies over me as I reach up to catch it. I fail, crash land onto a pile of leaves and laugh. We take a walk and talk and talk about everything from the X Factor to the news to the rugby. As we reach the cathedral, we sit down on a bench. I feel like I'm in a postcard. The oranges and reds of autumn surround us. The wind is rising, blowing leaves in my face and smash! I'm back on the unit throwing snowballs. Pat's walked onto the ward carrying a cup of tea and it's got caught in the crossfire. The tea is no more. Whoops! I wait for her to have a go at me. I can already hear the lecture. But instead she, Ellie, sweetheart, can you come with me a mo? The doctors want to chat. She'd bought tea for me. Our eyes meet. What's wrong? I follow Pat to my bedroom. Dr Tinard is already in there. She has that smile on. My mum's there too. Her face is like a ghost. Ellie, Dr Tinard gestures me to sit down. A few minutes later, they leave me and mum. I bury my head in her shoulder, close my eyes and try to transport us to my sofa. Mum's come to stay the weekend and we're watching Dinner Ladies. I want to go home. I know. No. I mean, I want to go home. I want to be at home when I... When it... (laughs) I want to go home.